Hey guys, welcome to my video. This video is going to be about the whole Chris Pratt's Chris Pratt situation. You know, the guy who stars in uh, the Avengers series and uh, Heroes of the Galaxy or whatever that movie is. Um, okay, apparently there was supposed to be some kind of meetup with all the Avengers guys. Um, for a Joe Biden Democratic uh, support picture taken thing. And he wasn't there. And for the last couple of days, it's been news. Uh, Twitter is alight with uh, all these people. Uh, liberals, Democrats, people of that ilk. Pretty much Twitter terrorizing them. Twitterizing, Twitter terrorizing uh, Chris Pratt. And on that note, there he also has, well, uh, in addition to that story, he also has uh, other members, uh, his uh, co actors of the Avengers series, uh, coming out to support him uh, Robert Downey Jr., uh, Zoe Sedana. So Dana, um, the dude, Mark Ruffalo, the guy who plays the Hulk, and, and a bunch of other uh, people who have come out in support of him, and apparently they're getting terror, they're, they're getting terrorized by um, Twitter, uh, Twitter criticizers, Twitter terrorists, Twitter, Twitter people. I don't have a Twitter account. I, I really, to be honest with you, I don't have a Twitter account. I don't have a Facebook account. Uh, I'll probably never get one of those accounts. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. But all these people who have opinions are are, are, are now terrorizing him and everybody and in, in, in all his co-stars who support him, etc., etc. This is now news making the rounds um, on the, um, you know, on YouTube and the media everywhere, etc., etc. So... Um, here, here's my thought on it. I don't really, I, I really don't care. Um, these movies about these movie stars and their personal opinions about anything. Um, I don't know Chris Pratt personally, but he seems to be an all right guy. He seems to be an all right guy. All right. There, there's not, not a lot of controversy with him, etc., etc. Um. That being said, um, just want to talk about why this is happening, like like why this is happening, and uh, this is the culture that we live in right now. All right, the uh, freest that this society has ever been, the most capitalistic that this society has ever been. But everybody now gets a voice. All right, everybody's voice essentially weighs the same. You get a voice on Twitter. It, 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 it can potentially weigh the same. All right. If you get enough of an audience, it might weigh more than others, even celebrities, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Everybody has the potential to have a voice that weighs the same as everybody else. But for the most part, everybody can manipulate, manipulate, I, I guess, could just group together and have a voice as distinct as powerful as anybody else if they wanted to this is freedom this is real freedom all right this is freedom that has never existed in the history of this country this is freedom that never has existed in the history of this country okay 2020 as of today is the freest that this country has ever been uh, democracy works for every single person in this country. If you want a voice, you get a voice heard. All right. So this is the culture um, that we exist in at this moment. The epitome of uh, uh, of democracy. And um, I, I actually did two videos on this and they, they were rather long and probably boring and you know but I, I actually go into depth on on 
what on, on democracy as the purest form of democracy in 2020 and how that is actually um, the opposite of what existed maybe you know 25 20 25 years early in this country so I, I know a lot of people want to say America has always been free Ever since its inception of a country, it's always been free. It's always had, everybody's always had freedom, freedom of speech, etc., etc. But in those videos, I've said that that is not true. All right, people's perspective, everybody's perspective, um, has been controlled by corporations, the the media, schooling system, etc., etc., and that perspective. Um, prior to the uh, prior to the to the internet, prior to the uh, explosion of the internet upon society, um, that perspective has always been generally one direction. All right, your opinion gets shaped by the media. Your opinion gets shaped by by the schooling system. Your opinion gets uh, gets manipulated by society, who's around you, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and and their opinion got manipulated by the media, by the education system, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, movies, TV shows, news programs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Corporations, all right, their opinions did not sway too much. Uh, if you uh, prior to the last twenty five years, there was not uh, there was not really any kind of dramatic changes in society and those that you could consider dramatic changes took decades were decades in the making they weren't instantaneous like they are today all right so if if you guys have a problem with this whole social justice warrior thing the the you know um and and this this particular video isn't pretty much it is, isn't, isn't exactly on Chris Pratt and, and, and the situation is he in because I, I'm not weighing in, in an opinion. Chris Pratt has every right not to be there. I'm, I'm neither liberal or Republican. He, he didn't want to be there to take a picture. I really don't care. He doesn't have to be there to take a picture, you know, to, to endorse Joe Biden or, or whatever. Um, if he wants to be Christian, that's fine. Uh, you know, Christian people, um, the good Christian people are good Christian people. You know, obviously there's bad and good and everything. Uh, so this video is not about me, you know, having an opinion of any of this stuff. My this opinion, this this video is essentially about how this is America at the very height of its democracy, at the very height of its democracy. Okay, where absolutely nothing is controlled. Your opinions are not controlled. You want to say the opinions are being controlled, but they're not being controlled. I mean, data is being collected, maybe, but that, that's not controlling your opinion. You, you, you know, you could go on, uh, sign up for Twitter, and then put out an opinion out there. Everybody has an opinion. There's like 360 million people in this country. Every single person has an opinion, and yet this country is more divided than it's ever been in the history of this country. You know, it, it's never been more divided. It's like, it's like shattered glass at this point. It's like everywhere. You can't get, you can't get, uh, you know, all these groups on the same page. Everybody now has an opinion. Everybody now has access to promoting the opinion. Every, everybody has a say. So, like, you're probably asking me, what's the purpose of this video? I mean, never in the history, like prior to twenty last twenty five years, uh, everybody pretty much followed whatever it was that the media dictates to them whatever they learn from from school whatever they learn from their environment which is you know you know I don't want to keep on repeating myself but there hasn't been like democracy okay here's what I'm trying to say democracy was an illusion was an illusion Less than 25 years ago. You could say America was the land of the free, home of the brave. But, you know, I remember back in the time, if you said anything negative about America or or, 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 or said uh, anything that's, that's outside of the main, mainstream, 
um, you would be ostracized. They would just ostracize you. You would be, you know, you would not have a voice, okay? So everybody was pretty much just doing what everybody else did, all right? So the, the so pre, previous to 25 years ago, the definition of democracy is pretty much pretty narrow, all right? I, I, I you know, if, if, if you look back... 25 years ago compared to the, the 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 voice that every single citizen of this country has today you would say we probably didn't have that much of a democracy 25 years ago was it even a democracy i mean if you think about it, was it was it even a democracy you know, and, uh, you know, it, it wasn't like if you had an opinion about something 25 years ago, you could just post something up and then everybody else who has the same opinion could post something up. And then you have this opposing force posting something up and, you know, and you have all these people interacting in, you know, a, a voice of the people. But, but it, you know, a voice of people these days pretty much means a, a voice of individual uh, very individualistic um, opinions on every single thing. All right, so um, I guess I guess my uh, I guess this video is actually just for you know I, I I thought about this and I just thought it was interesting to just put it out there that um, in 2020 where everybody has a voice. Everybody has the freedom to put out whatever they want to put out. Videos, messaging, etc., etc. And there's no shame in it whatsoever. This is the very epitome, purest form of what uh, democracy is and, and, and the voice of the people is. And this country has never been more divided. It's never been more divided. It's never been more... Uh, you know, there's never been more identity politics on every single issue. There's never been more upheavals, and where 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 right in the midst of a culture war, a racial a race war. So, if you guys think about it, um, does democracy actually work? I mean, it, it's just all, all this stuff is just going to get, you know, like if, if you think this is freedom of the people these days. I mean, think about maybe five years from now where, where, you know, social media, you know, you know, gets more sophisticated and grows a lot more where, where everybody has a dissenting voice on every single thing. And, and on top of that, I, I guess, I guess I, I'm uh, connecting this to a couple articles that I've, I've read and uh, I read another article that said that millennials were very, um, we're not very. What's the word? We're not. We're not very uh, up. We're not very up on uh, democracy. I mean, th there were a lot of. There, they, they, I think they did a study or poll where, where they said that a lot of a lot of millennials were pro um, socialism. Uh, wherever, whatever that is, uh, you know, 